Welcome back to the basics of screencasting. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get the best audio out of your equipment. Let's talk hardware. A good entry mic that everybody uses is the Yeti mic. The Yeti mic is $129, but there is a new mic called the Yeti Nano, which is $99. They also have one smaller than that, so be sure to check out their website. Now, when I see most people using the Yeti mic, they tend to want to talk into the top of the microphone. But it's important to note that the Yeti mic is a side address mic, which means that you get the best audio out of talking to the side of the microphone. On on the mic you'll see an option for gain and an option for your speaking mode. If you're the only one talking, be sure to set it into cardioid mode. And as far as the gain, keep it as low as possible. The best way to know if you have good audio is to do a small recording test before you start. To prevent really loud noises, we want to try to reduce the background noise as much as possible. Any noises like your keyboard, your mouse, your computer fan can be picked up by your mic. But I did find that with the Yeti, that if you are close enough to it, it will remove the majority of the background noises. For example, this is what my camera audio sounds like, and this is what my Yeti mic audio sounds like. If you have to type during a tutorial, Sean uses a flexible silicon keyboard, so his typing is silent during the tutorial. You can consider doing the same thing. Some accessories that are good to get is like a pop filter like this one which eliminates popping noises. If noise is a big problem where you're at, you can consider lining a box with acoustic foam. Any box like this one from Amazon will do. And put your mic inside. That should help you get rid of the majority of the noises coming from your studio. I've heard of some people recording in their bathroom or their closet, and that could be an option for you as well. As far as software, OBS records audio. I personally use Audacity to record my audio, and it's also free on Mac and Windows. Now that we've covered what to use, in the next chapter, I wanna go over the interface of your screencasting software and get you familiar with some of the options that you have. I'll see you in the next video.